<laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Joe and Al play Kerbal Space Program. I'm Joe. I am Al. Hi, right, Albert. Look at all the money you have. Look at all that money. It just fell out of the sky and appeared in my lap. You, uh, you, you, you money scummed for I don't know how long. How long did it take you? It really doesn't take that long. It's a ridiculous cheat. Um, you had a decent money amount humper? of yes, the money humper. <laughs> <laughs> well, open Can it. We... Just watch what I kept putting out onto the. Uh... It it doesn't even appear to be able to load. Well, that's no, that's because uh, your ships oh. look like that too. Zoom out. What I don't does it just keep going up? <laughs> <laughs> I just kept slapping engines on it. And you just kept putting this out and bringing it back and getting seven percent more. Yep. Of the value. And then you get enough cash to do a bigger one, so you add more engines. And you get the seven percent gets larger. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's it's... how math works. Yes. Now, a little bit of a spoiler for people. Um, you sent me a picture. <laughs> you sent me a picture of you having landed this on the Mun. Correct. It is possible. In your experience, when would you say start turning? Uh, I started doing some fairly normal-ish gravity turns. Uh, I was definitely maybe 150 speed. Okay. Um, I was, it's, it's a pretty sturdy little ship. I, I might tweak some things. What would you like to tweak, Joe? This is the time to tweak them. Now is the time for all good men to tweak things. It wants to go on its side so badly. Why not just let it go on its side? If there's some way to build, I was I haven't thought this through entirely, but the thing is so tall. Okay, so and like really wants to tip more legs here somehow, and then these like face out this way instead of down. I, I can't see what you're talking about. <laughs> Just let so it land on its side. These are currently facing Put. towards the bottom. The of question the is, how are you going to be sure where which side it's on? Can you control that? Uh, I also don't know if we had scientists on that, so it wasn't a good idea to launch anyway. <laughs> um, did we get our any of our people yet back? No, we did not. <laughs> <laughs> I have to spend some of that science to hire some more guys. We got a scientist. Uh, well, yeah, two two more scientists. That's what I'm saying. We have one. We need three. You need three? For the contract. Really? Yeah. I thought I just had to yeah. have space for him. No. Have three scientists on the outpost. How about that? Um, another thing is batteries are heavy, and you went silly, silly, stupid gaga with them. Yeah? I'm not sure that we need that many. Uh, I was just about to start looking through some, trying to get some sense. We have no sense. Of how much electricity things need. We just know they need electricity and we panic and put too much stuff on. My one that landed on the side and crashed, I will say, was able to operate fine with about half of them. <laughs> this will work, right? Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? <laughs> how do you feel about my new uh, setup here, Joe? I like it. <laughs> That's what's needed. Honestly, this freaking thing is so top heavy and it's so. Ah! I think we'll make it, too. I think. I don't know. Because uh, it's just wind and, like, yeah, I don't think it's going to add too much. <laughs> oh, wait, I didn't hire my scientist yet. <laughs> That's going to be expensive. Active Kerbals. <laughs> when do I get these guys back? I don't know. You're the one who's so confident that they're coming back. They're coming back. <laughs> you have Sorry. the weirdest confidence in yourself with this game. I read the thing that said they were coming back. <laughs> I did too, but having never looked into it again, the way you talk, it's you've seen them come back already, like six or seven times. I literally can't. There's not any more scientists. <laughs> well, as fast forward time. Okay, we got more applying. Oh. Huh. Next tire. Okay. These guys better not die. Okay. Let's look at our crew. Okay, we gotta actually put these scientists... Oh, holy crap. How many scientists do we have now? I don't know. Did they come back? That long. Uh, oh, maybe. Since we fast-forwarded? Yeah, look at all these scientists we blew up on the mud. <laughs> <laughs> holy uh, cow! <laughs> <laughs> we got Cat Long back, too. I don't know where she went. <laughs> Uh, where did Catlong go? I just saw her. She's in the on the command pod. Oh, she is. Yeah. Was anyway. she dead before? Did they come yeah. back with their uh, stars? Is what I'm asking. I guess. Yes, they do. They do not in hard mode though. All right, are you ready? I don't know. Do you want to put a pilot on? 
No. We've probodyne. Okay. We've got a probodyne. Yeah, we've, we've been fine. I was about to say we've been fine without the pilot. Oh, yeah. So. We've been absolutely fine without the pilot. <laughs> Not fine, necessarily. That word doesn't ne- quite apply, but we've survived. All right. Sass and blast. I like that. Clever. Someone was uh, in the comments asking us to turn on the more stuff. Mm-hmm. In this curb menu, Doctor Gonzo. Yeah, what was the what was the button he wanted us to push? Apparently, there? there's a button for suicide burns that's very helpful, but uh, I'll look it up. Suicide Good. burn info in the curb window. Open vessel tab and look near the bottom. It may be in other tabs as well. They're all totally customizable. Press the curb button on the right side of the screen to play about with that. That'll show you precisely. Oh, look at that. What you need to know for the stylish single last second bird landing you're in need of here. It also shows the current delta V in the vessel, divided by stages, so you can tell if your landing is even possible. And you replied. Thank you, Dr. Gonzo. You replied, nope, we don't hire Kerbals so some machine can come in and take their place in the landing craft. I did not hire, reply that. You didn't? No, I, replied, that was, I thought that was you. I, apparently, yes. <laughs> We've been busy. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I wrote the wrong yeah. tweet for the GTA thing we released. It wasn't even and like reply because I thought it was you who screwed it up. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even like new new GTA up and you had the wrong link. You like wrote a fairly decent explanation promo and, for a yes. thing that has not come out yet. Yeah, I know. Do you just want to go for the landing here? Just bring it in till it's yeah. Zero? Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Hold my beer. <laughs> it's gonna have suicide burn height, but I assume that that won't take into account like features on the surface. Possibly not. All right, that gave us something. Hold on. Suicide burn distance, 137,000 meters. So what do you think? You just at 137,000? That sounds ridiculously high. It does sound kind of high. Well, we have a quick save, so... Oh, it's going down. Is the Delta V going down? Yes. Everything's going down. Oh, good. <sighs> I thought for sure we were screwed there because of the... <laughs> but if it keeps going... Like, where does it stop? Is this I don't know. That's a good question. Telling us that? Keep in mind, it's called a suicide burn because... This is the, that's the last, the last de- chance effort. We have... According to this thing, twice, no, not twice, but 300 more Delta V than we need. So you may I don't know why it's going down, is the question. Is it because we're, like, the height from the moon, moon is changing? Or because... I literally have no idea. Okay. I would start doing something. Okay. Let's kill our speed. Seems like we have a reasonable amount of fuel. Fuel? Ah! We're running out of fuel. When do we do the thing? Do the thing! I'm doing the thing now. Good, good, we're landing on a bridge. Oh, we're out. That was a lot further than it looked. Oh, baby! Woo! <laughs> go, struts! Go, no! Go, the struts! <laughs> the magic struts! Oh, God, look how far we have to go! Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> no! Side still has a leg on it. Look. 
Oh no, I'm actually gonna <laughs> retract that. Um. Oh my god. Whoa! Oh good. <laughs> That's gone now. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god. Should I put out my drills as like an anchor? <laughs> How is this possible? No, 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 go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. We're okay. We're okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like clockwork. <laughs> yes! Yes! Give me that si Oh wait, no, I have to do the uh I have to get the 5000 units of ore. <laughs> you have to maintain your stability for 10 seconds too. Maintain stability. We're fine with that. Looks like we're fine with that anyway. Who the hell knows? There's yeah. that. Yep. Um <laughs> That is just insane. Wow. Um <laughs> There she goes. Do you have to turn on your radiators or Uh that's a good question. Activate. Hmm. <laughs> so the radiators aren't great. They're doing something. Right? You also haven't activated them all. I mean, they'll go. The thing will go down on its own. The tor tor temp core temp goes up fast. Does it go up faster without them? Wow, it's already there. <laughs> yeah, those did nothing. I don't think those are. Are those attached correctly? I don't know. <laughs> I've never used them before. I didn't know how to do them. So that worked. <laughs> I don't know about. Huh. <sighs> Rigid fixed panels science. only cool the part they are attached to, and parts what? directly connected to that part. Thermal control systems take heat from every part of the vessel. So, you don't have one of those. You have panels. So just out of curiosity, can we see the... Uh, the ore? Yeah, well... Everything. We have 1.16 of 5,000. Also, you're going to want to take science, and then you got to take your scientist out and pilot him around and grab all the science. What? You'll see. No, just look, look. This is not. That's not correct. These guys. So transfer them into this doodad. And all you have to do is right click, observe. Nope, not that's not the one. Um, you just click on the ones that you've already done, review data, and then ah, process and lab. I piloted my guy all over the place that sounds hard it was fun i also grabbed a surface sample more stuff it's like a maximum amount of uh yeah science you can fit in there and this will do it um yeah we have 400 of 750 data now our engines uh, miraculously our engines are fine mm -hmm. so yeah we can refuel we can refuel with the convertitron which we did put on here and I guess get back into orbit, but it's going to take a long time to get enough model propellant. Well, I think there's going to be some time warping. <clears throat> Even so, I don't know if I want to sit here and make people watch. Well, I'm curious to see if this does. Oh, there it goes. Our so 12,000 electric charge is certainly enough. It turns out, yes. Did you start the science did lab? Uh, did I not? I thought I did. You can't, while well, you're, you gotta stop. There you go. Start research. We'll do all that at once. Now that uses a little bit more yes. of the power. However, we still have 10,000 extra power. It turns out, yes, we have enough. Man, we're gonna get so much money when we complete this. <laughs> I can't, can't believe it. Oh, I just wish we had like a curveball on the outside riding it down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I mean, I thought that the extra struts would give it stability, but I never in a million years no. expected that. No, absolutely not. I Clearly. think that is going to do it for today, Joe. Uh, you guys can assume that this thing keeps mining ore and stuff till it gets to 5,000. I want to see Or do it. we want, you want to, okay, well, we you know what, I can cut this out. Can, yeah, you can edit out this stuff. I definitely yeah, want to see this, okay. see this through now.
Yeah, clearly the the bending strength of things is not well figured out here. Ooh, one fifth of the way there. Also, I guess it would have dug into the dirt, and that would have caused problems. If there was dirt, sure. The whatever it is. The Mars. No, I'm saying like I don't think it models like that. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying why in reality they don't do things like this. Oh, I mean they they have wide landers and stuff. Yeah, but they don't plan on sledding down a moon hill. <laughs> wobbling and almost tipping the whole way down. There's a, what did they call that? They did actually have like one of the plans, one of the, I think both of the rovers essentially crashed into Mars. Um, they just yeah. said, eh, we'll put a bunch of airbags on the sides and like <laughs> bang them down there and then they'll open up. It'll be fine. I can't believe it. And everything's functioning. We landed on a place with ore. Oh, I forgot that was a possibility. Yeah, that's a, a, somewhere in here. I'm, I'm like, uh... Can you run out of ore? I don't know. Oh, no. I just realized, like, what if we run Well, now out? we can we just could, make fuel. We can oh, convert we're... it to fuel. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're good to go. We're... This is basically just... This is it. This is the Mayflower. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> You're not completely wrong. No, it's weird that you can make fuel. Except for the fact that, like, we've sort of... Boogered up the um, the landing abilities a I little know. bit. That went really well <laughs> once the once the legs were gone. Yeah, we didn't blow. I don't know how the engines didn't blow up. I mean, they're intersecting. It's it's close. It's very close. So we can go. We can go take the. So this thing has so much science. Oh wait, no, we can't. Wait, we can't get out and reset the. Yep. We can't reset the goo canisters, right? You can reset everything with a scientist. Which we have three of because Correct. of the contract. Mm -hmm. The question is, well, yeah, for I mean, these gravities are much lower. I don't know how much fuel this five thousand ore would make. We just mine more. That's true. I'm very curious about that too. I'm very curious about what this thing because now like, we are don't even need the Kerbal Space Center anymore. It's <laughs> like God, we got this thing now. <laughs> Go anywhere. <laughs> Danger, Will Robinson. Um, I don't know. Will this be enough? Because we have these tiny engines and the tiny fuel, not tiny, but compared to what we had to get off of Kerbin. I realize it's harder to get off of Kerbin than other places, but is it that Well, much yeah, I don't, whatever the equivalent travel? of Jupiter is, like, probably not going to land on that with this. But, like, all of our little moon areas? Yeah. Like, Ike, probably? I mean, these are not unpowerful engines either. No, they're good little engines. Almost there. Imagine how much faster this would have gone if we had the coolant things we needed. I know. So if we slap these on down here, it would have worked. Is that what you were he hearing? Uh, I'm in Google. Let me see what you're saying. Yeah. It's like the radiators are up here. You want if they were down here next to these? It's cool. It was part connected and to the part. Connected to the part. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, apparently. Here we go. Home stretch, baby. Da da da. Ding! Gonna... Woo! Oh my god. Huh. I'll sit also shoot some science. How much science do we have? Start making fuel? We can do lots of things. We can, we can, yeah. Ah! What did you do? I didn't do anything! What happened? I don't know! What did you do? I don't know! Why are we- what happened? I think we overheated. <laughs> what the hell just happened? I think it didn't calculate it until we stopped warping. <laughs> I think... No, I, I think will forever over... believe that you hit a button of some sort. I don't no, I think it was the time warp th look at this thing spinning over here. <laughs> I need to go over and see this. Oh, what are you doing? Uh, Get the put the HUD back up at least. The what? The, the information! Oh, okay. We still got our contract though. What is going on? Our scientists are still safe. I cannot turn these off now. <laughs> They could very easily we can't explode. can't make fuel. What did you do? We don't even have an engine anymore. <laughs> we have an engine. It's just not part of this ship. 
We have to stick this thing on that using this. <laughs> what did you do? We, I, you know what I did, Joe? I succeeded. That's what I did. I built well, a new outpost on the surface of the mud. Had an antenna. Had a facility supporting at least yeah, 14 kerbals. Had 5,000. blows up. There was no other way that that could have ended either. Yes, that was absolutely like for the Joe place. and Al brand. I can't. I still. Don't it had just... to. It just had to be. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, thanks so much for watching, guys. I don't understand. This is I what understand. success looks like. <laughs> I don't understand how we're still so bad at this game. We're. Um, did Did you see that landing? That was awesome. <laughs> it was insane. It's like the rocket house. Goodbye, all. This has got to stop at some point because these batteries are going to run out, right? I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thumbnail for sure, though. <laughs> That's definitely the thumbnail. <laughs> if you like what you see, support us on Patreon. Link in the bottom. Stuff. And probably up on your screen soon. <sighs> Goodbye, all. Bye.